Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 8 of the self-driving car simulation using convolutional neural networks. In this final video, we are going to train our model and test it back on the self-driving simulator. So let's get started. So now that the training is done, here is the summary of the training. As you can see that it took about 125 seconds to 130 seconds per each epoch. And you can see that the loss, the training loss started from 0 0.06 and it went all the way to 0 0.037, uh, 0 0.036. And that is actually fairly good and you can see that the validation loss started from 0 0.037 and it went all the way to 0 0.0267 the same result we can look at in the graph here you can see it's about uh, 0 0.07 and it went all the way the training loss and then we have the validation loss that goes all the way down as well so now the question is how well the actual model will perform in the real situation. So let's go back to our simulation and run the model over there. So now we will run our model that we have trained to evaluate its performance. Uh, so the testing code is mostly specific to this simulator. So we will be using their proposed method. Now we will only look at the main concept of the code rather than writing uh, this line by line because if we were to use any other simulator you would use their code based on their instructions. But we will have an overall look at the code. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure to install the appropriate uh, libraries. So the new ones we have are sockets IO and then we have eventlets and then we have flask so these are the three that you have to install as we have done before you can go to file you can go to settings and here you can add and install the libraries so once we have done that you have to make sure that the model.h file is in the same directory as the test simulation then we are going to create instances from our flask and socket io libraries and uh, the first thing we will do is we will load in our model which is by load model and the name of our model is model.h5 and then we are basically initializing uh, and we are communicating with our port number 4567 now this is specific to this simulator so that's why we are using 4567 so once that is done then we are basically connecting and sending to uh, sending the commands to our uh, simulator and here we have the steering and then the speed the, so in the beginning we are just sending 0 and 0 and then once we are done we are importing our image so this is the new image that is coming directly from the car once we have that we will convert it into a numpy array and as you know, we have to pre-process our image before we can predict um, the value. Because we did uh, the pre-processing in the training and the validation, we have to do the pre-processing in the testing as well. So this is the exact same code that we wrote from, for our pre-processing uh, function in the training process. So we will use that to pre-process our image. So then we are going to use our image to predict the steering angle so we will say that model which we loaded over here which is our model we will say that model dot predicts based on the image that we received and this will give us a steering value and this steering value we can send it to our uh, simulator and here we are basically limiting the speed to not go above a maximum threshold and that threshold is basically defined here which is the speed of 10 so it should not go above 10 and that is it and then we are just printing out the values uh, before sending it so here we are sending these values to our simulator so let's run this and see what happens so we are going to run our test simulation first And while this sets up, we are going to go to our simulator folder and then we will open up our simulator. 
now we will be using a small window and uh, we can just hit play and now we are going to use the autonomous mode so we will select the track and we will click autonomous and as you can see on the left hand side you can see that we have our steering and then we have the throttle and then we have the speed so as you can see the model is able to journalize enough to actually drive pretty much in the middle of the lane and as you can see it's turning a little bit towards the left even though we are not running it at uh, a high speed since we only trained for a few thousand images that is uh, pretty much nothing considered to uh, the 72 hours of uh, training data that nvidia got for their model and uh, given that we had uh, such a small amount of data you can see that it's able to actually journalize enough and drive properly on our track so the great thing about this model is that uh, it has seen a road that has uh, very different types of lanes. So you can see that sometimes we have stripes, sometimes we have just yellow lanes. Sometimes, oh, as you can see, we are heading onto the bridge. Sometimes on the bridge, we we don't have any lanes at all. And the, the texture of the bridge is completely different than the road itself. And it's still able to journalize and go through that track without any problems so that itself is a great success and you can see that the model is able to run properly and it's able to learn how to drive rather than just if and else statements that if you see this do that and if you see that do this so if we fast forward you can see that we are able to run the complete track without any issues and again we can tweak with the parameters to uh, make this uh, run a little bit better and then we can also add more data we can add uh, more flexibility in terms of augmentation of the images and there's a lot of parameters that we can change around to make it a little more better so let's try this on our other track that it has never seen before so this will be the second track and notice how different the texture of uh, the road is now and notice how everything pretty much is different in these images compared to the previous ones now it will not drive over here that well but still it is able to drive and it is able to stay within the road and that itself is a big achievement considering that it has never seen this road before so eventually this track is actually very hard and eventually it will go out but as you can see it's going up the hill there is very different lighting in the environment the the curvature of the road is very different than before and um, you can see that the complete environment is very different than what we had in the previous track and uh, still it is able to journalize well and it's still able to run um, on this track but again as you can see here uh, it went astray and it, it's not able to come back as we did not uh, train it with the data that it is able to track uh, drastic curves or drastic measures if required so this is it for today's video i hope you have learned something new if you like the video if you found it useful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video